Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Canada Hamara and today I will be talking about the financial planning term 1 review. So the financial planning programs term 1 has just finished like 3 to 4 days ago and I wanted to push out this video to let the prospective students know how is the program and should they apply for the program. In general I have been getting a lot of questions uh, if, uh, if one should apply for this program and how is Lampton Sanya and everything else along with that. So I will be addressing all of these concerns and resolving all these queries in this video so stick to the end to watch everything and uh, this will be an unscripted video so uh, I will be just rambling on, uh, rambling on and uh, please uh, try to stick to the end for that. So first thing we are going to talk about is the patch profile, second is the faculty or the professors and third is going to be the, uh, the courses uh, as in the subjects that are taught in this course for the term 1 which has uh, which I will I will draw some observations and to give some comments on that and these will all be uh, observations and there will be some opinions and you can let me know in, your, in the comments if you need any more clarification on these things so first let's begin with the batch profile so my batch uh, in financial planning I would say it had really 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 amazing people and I was not expecting these kinds of people here in uh, Lambton Sarnia in like uh, postgraduate diploma program here in Canada so let me just give you an overview and understanding what kind of uh, what's the batch profile or what kind of people I, I got an opportunity to network with firstly so there are not only there are not only just guys there are also a lot of girls so unlike the typical MBA low tier MBA campus there are a lot more girls uh, as in like the the ratio I would say is like 60% guys 40% girls and I would say the experience ratio is like 80% or like 70 significant percent of people have experience so it's not like you're just coming to a class full of freshers all right which happens a lot in India if you go for a tier low tier MBA you would get a lot of people who are uh, who have zero work experience uh, and mostly is just the guys from uh, engineering or something so the academic diversity aspect is well preserved here so to get into real specifics like I have seen there are a lot of people from core finance here uh, there are some engineers too but they pivoted to finance like I know a guy who uh, I know three people who are from equity research here which is core finance field once again uh, one guy from Narsi Munji postgraduate diploma uh, another uh, two or three fellows from Mithibai and uh, Mithibai and Narsi Munji undergraduate so they are here uh, they are already like three or four chartered accountants here uh, and definitely five or six uh, semi-qualified chartered accountant uh, like IPCC uh, with article ship which is also a hell of a deal because uh, clearing IPCC is tough too and we gotta respect those people as well so there are these people also and there are a lot of people who have just completed bachelor in commerce like me and there are other people too so I found a lot of people who are worth admiring here because of their qualities like some people have really good self-discipline some people are really good at uh, uh, like uh, maybe conversations or English some people have really good people skills uh, some people uh, have great work experiences to learn from like there are people with five six or seven years of work experience who are in my batch and they are freshers too so there's a lot of academic diversity which I really really liked so for example there's a girl who's a banker she has eight uh, seven or eight years of work experience so there's a lot to learn from her there's a there's a few persons from equity research which I which I was uh, very interested in so I got to avoid I got an opportunity to network with those fellows. Uh, there are people uh, who have, we have, who are bankers, uh, as in like uh, the retail bankers, and along with the man and the managerial staff too. There's uh, one tax analyst from Ernst and Young. The, there are a few more people. The managers, analysts, associates, all kinds of uh, uh, people from all rungs of the corporate ladder. We can say. So I really found academic diversity is pretty good here, at least in Lambton Sarnia what I saw. I really found the people admirable and I would give like a, a grade to Lambton Sarnia a financial planning program 
in terms of the academic diversity diversity in all respects like you know uh, female to male ratio the academic ba background like the bachelor's in commerce mechanical people from all walks of life people with different experiences freshers mixed uh, with uh, people with experience all of that so they're like a grade for all of the all of those uh, aspects so next uh, next uh, topic will be faculty so how is the faculty in uh, uh, in Lambton Sarnia. So there are a lot of faculties. First of all, it's not like in India we have only one faculty, only one professor for an uh, like an end subject. Like if we if we have finance subject here, there will be multiple professors who will be teaching multiple batches the same subject. So uh, we in the financial planning uh, term one we have of course uh, this uh, subjects like finance, which is basically a preparatory course for the investment funds in Canada uh, licensing exam. So that's the finance one, which is taught for me. It was taught by Professor Matthew Felder. Then there was accounting concepts one, which was taught by Paul Hazard. Uh, another one was the computer application course, which teaches you like uh, the basics of uh, uh, like Microsoft, not like basics, but the advanced two of the Microsoft, uh, like PowerPoint, Word, Excel, everything. And then there was professional communication, uh, which was taught by Bruce McDonald, and the marketing uh, subject, which was taught by Rashpal Uppal. So let's uh, let's start with the finance subject. How, what, how did uh, how was it? How did you like it or not? So the finance subject was basically, as I said, a precursor to the investment funds in Canada uh, licensing exam. It's uh, really good if you come for the financial planning program, then to come directly as a PR and then apply for the investment funds in Canada course. Uh, no doubt you will be able to clear it uh, with enough efforts, but it's uh, if you are a fresher or something, then it's pretty good good idea to come here, uh, get the course and like learn it in a structured format and then give the licensing exam like I did. So I really like the professor Matthew Felder. He's a really cooperative professor. He, uh, he really likes the international students. He uh, admires our culture. I mean, uh, he's a very friendly person in general, I would say. And he's a person who uh, you can ask him as many doubts as you want. He will answer to them. He will uh, reply to you even after working hours so many times. And he's a really supportive professor. So I really liked him. Uh, he is uh, really good at uh, like the technical technical aspects of the subject so he is able to handle the subject and as well as like he's really good supportive professor so in general i really liked him so the next uh, next subject is accounting concepts which was taught by paul hazard so paul paul is basically uh, he is an mba and i think a cpa and he is a director of uh, an agricultural firm uh, in, in sarnia and like he has a lot of experience in accounting because he i think he sat, sits on the board of directors of the of that firm and i really like him because never in my life i have ever been taught accounting in a more interesting way like the way paul teaches us because it's really phenomenal because he he's the he works as a manager right he's he's director because he reads the accounts he knows is it's not just about create writing accounts or preparing the statement of accounts it's about application or understanding accounts so if you are presented with the balance sheet how do you interpret that how do you analyze the accounts he is really good at that so he always taught us uh, accounting from the point of view of the investors or from the managers or from the board of directors because he has that point of view because he he has the work experience for that and that's what i really liked about him and he's again just like matthew he's also a very cooperative and uh, nice person he always likes us he offers us treats sometimes like on thanksgiving and on christmas he offered us chocolates to all the all the uh, all the uh, lecture, all the all the classroom. So he's a really really nice professor. He's uh, one of the best professors that we had here. Uh, and also Matthew, uh, coming back to Matthew, Matthew's uh, professional qualifications are like he used to work in England in uh, Barings Bank, I think. Oh, sorry, not Barings Bank, but uh, Lloyd's Bank. And there he was working in a high yield credit analyst position. So he has a lot of experience in that. So if you want to get into that field. He can help you with that, and he's a very person. He's the person you can take a lot of career guidance from. So, next coming to the next coming to our uh, topic of uh, business applications, which is like the basically computer applications. So it that course 
mainly deals with like Microsoft Office, PowerPoint and Excel. So this course is basically like teaches you the advanced aspects of these applications because I also had the like Microsoft Office courses back in India in my college but they were not really taught in this advanced manner like here it's far more advanced and I have learned some tips and tricks in terms of like Excel or uh, Microsoft Word which I wasn't using earlier and now I know like how how am I really supposed to use it and why are all the features over there the way they are used and everything so that did add value to my uh, education next uh, next course is uh, communications professional communication by Bruce McDonald so professional communication this this course is basically like uh, you know like in in Western countries in general we have uh, a lot of these dissertations uh, research papers that are to be published and in India we don't really get to do a lot of that stuff but if you if you pers uh, publish a research paper and if you are ever asked to do some kind of research and write it in a formal way at your workplace then you will require uh, like citations and references and uh, how to do the bibliography and like the way of citations like the APA citations and all of that formatting it's uh, essential if you are coming to a western society that you should be able to like do all of these things uh, at least know the basics of these things just in case if you have to write a research report ever in the future so that course prepares you for that purpose so it gives a technical understanding of the uh, like the subject and like definitely uh, you know builds a great foundation for uh, like if you want to get into research or you know that that, that skill it helps to build uh, the next course would be marketing which is taught by Rashpal Uppal so marketing is also a good course it's not one of my favorite course because it's a lot of uh, a little bit uh, focus on it's a little memory intensive course it's a little bit based on memorization or understanding of concepts but if you if you are able to uh, uh, go through every lecture and you know pay 100% attention then you will easily be able to clear the exam without much efforts because you know the questions here are like not based on memorization but based on concepts so like uh, co conceptual questions will be asked in the exam in a MCQ test and uh, you will be able to clear that if you pay attention in the lectures so I had to revise a little bit because I'm not the person who pays 100% attention all the time so that's it so this is the this, this is the overview of the faculty and uh, probably we'll dive into the exam pattern so here I've seen most of the exams are MCQ based like the finance exam is MCQ based accounting exam accounting exam is like based on a soft online software called lyrics so it takes your it's like an accounting uh, like you have to do accounting uh, is like you have to prepare balance sheets and everything in the accounting concepts one so that's done all online so it's like it's not a pen and paper test it's an online test so that's what lyrics is used for so that's the that's how it is it's engage is another uh, another thing that we use for the computer applications uh, uh, the subject and that's also a pretty good software and that's uh, it's basically like uh, we have to do it uh, practically uh, how to like uh, Open a, open a file in the Excel or you know make a pivot table and all of those things so it tests you based on that so so I don't think there's anything else that I have to mention in terms of academic background so we, are, we have covered the batch profile we have covered the faculty we have covered the examination patterns and and for the professional communication the you have to publish a research paper so get ready for that it's easy but a little intensive for the people who have never done this before so get ready for that and you will enjoy your time in Sarnia definitely consider the program I really like the program overall I would say it's a nice program it adds value batch profile is very important so you know I, I, I would say that the opportunity that I got to network with people that's the most invaluable thing for me because like if I had to go for an, a tier 2 tier 3 MBA in India I would not get these people so that's the biggest benefit I think I have had is the networking opportunities here the kind of friends I made because if you hang out with great people you will eventually become great and that's how it is so thank you for listening through everything uh, if, you, if you want to know more if, I, if you feel I have missed something then uh, comment down below I will make a part 2 of this video and uh, please like share subscribe today I have 
thought of making this longer video i don't know if you guys will like it or not please stick to the uh, entire video and watch it share it please it helps me and tell me what kind of videos you want to see you know more like are they long videos short videos 5 minutes 10 minutes videos 15 minutes videos uh, i think this was a topic which was long overdue I, no one has made a video on this that's why i made a video on that so thank you and please like comment share subscribe press the net notification bell and i will see you later have a great day